Hello everyone, this is Boshe, the Electric Israeli. Thank you for watching, thank you for subscribing. If you're here for the first time, please hit that subscribe button and I appreciate your support through Patreon and shopping on my Electric Israeli store. Uh, today I'm going to talk about, to me, the most important component in long uh, trip driving of any car, but since we talk about electric cars, uh, we'll focus on that and I'll give you some important tips. So as we, as you know, logically, uh, that weather, uh, speed, elevation uh, are very, very, very important factors in uh, the range of a car. By the way, any car, you know, the faster you drive, the more gasoline you'll consume. So uh, speed, uh, weather, well, weather, big, big time, and elevation, going up a hill, and going down the hill, you will, you will gain a lot of uh, range, as we say. Uh, however, there's another component that is not so much talked about because it's not something that you do often. And uh, But when you do it, you really feel the difference. I recently came back from a 3,000 plus miles trip with my Tesla Model 3. We drove to um, Florida and back. It was my family, my wife and my two sons front and trunk full to the teeth and we needed more room so i used my Thule uh, universal roof rails i made a video about it i'll put you a link uh it's great great universal roof rail adjustable i use it with all my cars um highly recommend that you should that you get it instead of buying the very expensive not available Tesla Model 3 uh, wreck, but that's that's another story. Um, and on top of it, I put the Thule uh, cargo box. Now, drag, as you know, is a incredibly important component of uh, range. Uh, that's why most cars today, and definitely electric cars, are very, very, very uh, aerodynamic and efficient. You know. Uh, uh, having the least amount of wind resistant cutting through the winds really important for uh, range of the car and aerodynamic of the car now i had to put the the tuli box uh the tuli cargo on my on my roof um, and the effect on the range was so tremendous that i'm going to give you two numbers that will you your jaw will drop i highly recommend you watch my uh, trip to florida videos i put both of them the first and the second one but um, basically i give you this number normally a tesla model 3 and a regular driving long long range driving and or commute uh, or commute you know will take about 220 ish uh, one hour per mile Okay, what, that's basically what you get, which is very, very good. Um, this trip, this Florida trip with the uh, cargo box on the top required an average of 350, 100 to 130 watt hour per mile more than usual. And I give you an example. Uh, uh, let's say I had to drive to the next charger for 150 miles. In order for me to make this 150 miles, driving in normal highway speeds with all with the heat on, I had to charge the car 100 miles extra. For 150, I had to have at least 250 rated range on the battery. Now there was one one stretch that I had to drive 202 miles, and I had to. To charge the car to capacity 310 miles and drive a little bit below the um, speed limit in order to make my de my destination at one point uh, I got to my destination at midnight with seven miles left because in addition to all of the factors I told you it was raining so obviously uh, 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 road conditions are also important so the moral of the story is if you can avoid and by the way this is true for gasoline cars too if you can avoid dragging anything you should do that if you must if you must you have to then know that with electric cars 
you have to have on long trips I'm talking about long trips 33% more range rated range than what you need in order to get to your destination comfortably driving your highway speeds okay that's how much it requires so 220 watt hours for regular driving like I'm doing right now 350 ish uh, watt hour per mile for uh, if you have a cargo on your roof so avoid cargo or make sure you really really uh, prepare and careful on speeds and 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 and, and using the heat or air conditioning depend uh, when you're driving you really have to be mindful of that which gives me to the conclusion of this video that my tesla model 3 uh, uh 310 uh, miles range was the best thing I've ever did if you are to in, if you need an electric car and you are going to use it for long distance driving any electric car doesn't matter for long distance driving and you have a budget invest that money in the biggest battery you can that's my my uh, conclusion really that's the that's the best advice I can give you the best advice uh, to invest it in the biggest battery because that will give you the flexibility and the buffer to to drive comfortably you don't want to drive uh, I, I remember I drove uh, um, in uh, uh, I think North Carolina I got to 50 miles an hour on the highway I was going to be out of range <laughs> that was fun <laughs> so that's my best advice for you get the longest range in the battery. All right, thanks guys. If you have any questions, please subscribe. Help me change the world one electric car at a time. See you tomorrow with another episode.